Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can click the Manage button within the Data Model button group on the Power Pivot tab within the ribbon to open a separate visual instance of the workbook's data model you can manage in Excel. Alternatively, you can also click the Manage Data Model button in the Data Tools button group on the Data tab of the ribbon to also open this same window. The ribbon within the Power Pivot for Excel window that then opens has four tabs, File, Home, Design, and Advanced. Below the ribbon is the Formula Bar within the Data Model window. Below the Formula Bar is the Data View of the tables within the Data Model. In a separate pane below the Data Area is the Calculation Area. Below the Calculation Area, the names of the various tables within the Data Model appear displayed as tabs. You can click these tabs to switch between the tables within the Data Model. A Record Set Navigator for the currently selected table also appears at the bottom of the window. You can click the buttons within the Record Set Navigator to move back and forth through the records within the selected table. In addition to this data view of the data model, you can also view the diagram view of the data model by clicking the diagram view button within the view button group on the home tab of the ribbon within the data model window. This view lets you see the tables in the data model as diagrams that display the links or relationships between fields in the tables. You can also create relationships between tables by simply clicking and dragging a field from one table and then dropping it onto the related field within another table in this view. You can also right click the relationship line shown between two fields and then select the edit relationship command from the pop-up menu that appears to open the edit relationship window if needed. You could also select the delete command from the same pop-up menu to delete a selected table relationship from the data model. Note that you will need to click the Delete from Model button in the confirmation dialog box that appears to delete the relationship if desired. You can click the Data View button within the View button group in the ribbon of the Data Model window again to toggle the view back to Data View when you are finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.